going on guys bangu again here coming back at you with another episode of giants franchise and today we are back and we got some upgrades to make if you guys are new here if you're not subscribed already please hit that subscribe button as always let's try to hit over a thousand likes and we've got some pretty important players with these skill points available roman Pugh, the breakout rookie in last episode and kyle laletta the first year starter in his second year in the league and where do we want to upgrade him scrambler no where does he lack we need to improve deep accuracy throw power would be nice as well that's gonna be strong arm let's go ahead and upgrade that kyle laletta as three stats get upgraded that is throw accuracy deep by two and throw accuracy mid by one along with awareness by one improving his awareness gradually but he's looking at least a little bit better and then roman Pugh. what do you do here let's go ahead and look at him so he has elite power moves or nearly 86 it's, it's not 99 but it's pretty good 88 strength block shedding could really use some work i think currently we're not going to focus on block shedding but we're going to focus on what he does really really well and make that better and that's going to be power rusher hopefully improving power moves quite a bit does by one tackle by two makes him certainly a little bit better power moves up to an 87 hopefully 90 is right around the corner and i'm not a math guy but it feels like it could be pretty close so in typical madden fashion the redskins didn't lose last week they started off their season with a tie because why wouldn't they why would they not start their season off with a tie matt ryan would win offensive player of the week last week for the nfc leonard floyd for the defense four sacks all right ben roethlisberger wins it in the afc and it's gonna be Cravon leblanc for the bills who had two picks last week decent performance by these guys as far as the stories go show me some cool draft stories we got 15 any new no that is not this week ben filio was drafted and this is currently in the nfl shedrick gritton is also in the nfl he was not a starting pitcher a few weeks ago he was in training camp in the preseason a few weeks ago this is a blatant lie that's not it's not accurate i'll show you shedrick gritton is the starting quarterback for the new england patriots and ben filio is he on the panthers who drafted filio no eli apple is though shout out to him he was a great player for us clearly cardinals ben filio 81 overall rookie he's a beast but again he's in the nfl these are not the right stories the main story of today however is well janoris jenkins he's an 86 did he regress even more because that sucks i hate regression that was super bowl week he's down to an 86 and he is 30 so can't wait for that to be an 83 <laughs> but today we will face the zero zero and one washington redskins at fedex field they're an 84 overall we might be facing darius guiche today <laughs> aka darius geis the juice is loose but not today redskins giants live from fedex field they've done a great job with the outer areas of the stadiums this year really just like you know takes you into the mode takes you into the game the franchise i said we're breaking out the ways trent williams i don't know why you guys are still in the get out there on the field with the rest of your teammates what are you doing saquon trying to figure out what that device might be it might be a is that a blender great week one for saquon i said we'd name captains today i'm recording back to back we're gonna name captains in week three today we're focusing on the redskins alex smith can't wait to be checked down all game by the uh second year redskins quarterback now i get it oh my god and i called a timeout oh my settings changed at some point and i I've, I've uh forgotten to change it from the main menu so now what i have to do is i have to go in and turn camera toggle off i i don't even i've this is very annoying that i have to do this every time i don't like this angle 
Oh, may I just do standard? That could fix it. There's a Tress. No way he kicks us into the end zone. We're still going to have him returning kicks. Wallace, whoever he may be. And he is generally pretty terrible. Yeah, I think he had two muff punts last week. He's out there, though. And Sterling Shepard drops the football. That's so brutal because... Uh, I don't know. I mean, last year with Eli, we had so few throws where he was actually on the money that we really need to catch it when it's there. But you know what? We had Kyle Aletta, and he's a little bit a little bit better. That's absolutely terrible for me. I understand that. I don't know why he jumped to the left like that. I tried to, you know, push straight, and he jumped to the left. It's terrible. I wish that hadn't happened. It's third and ten. It should be, like, first and ten. <laughs> Good one. Come on, Kyle. Give me that. Odell! That's a fantastic play. I, I threw for Sterling Shepard. He looked like Odell at the time. <laughs> oh, man. Great first drive. We answer Washington's offensive brilliance with some of our own. Get there. Trying to rip the ball out. Can't do it. Roman Pugh on the tackle. The Roman soldier. Stops him short of the first down marker. Jamison Crowder can't quite get there. They're going to punt the ball again. We're going to run the ball here to the right. They're stacked left. I needed, a I needed a block not to be shed immediately. It's going to be another punt. Oh, great tackle by Landon Collins. Chris Thompson, four rushes, negative four yards. This is a flashback to last year's game. CPU's got 85 run blocking. It does not matter. When I say 85, I mean the slider. Out of 100, they're up to 85 from 50 default on all Madden. <laughs> That's a pick. Ooh, I didn't get an animation. What? I baited that so hard. And of course, it is a CPU, but I still did. I broke on the ball. Perfect timing. Triangle. No animation. That's so annoying. I need an easy read there. Oh, they're addicted to the run. It's a play action, but we set the corner back. Blitz. Morris DuBose gets the pressure on the QB. Someone commented the other day, Morris do boss. And I'm like, I'm down for that. But also, like, make some plays on defense. That's a good start. It's another run. What the... F <laughs> That's a pick. It's Landon Collins. Go, Landon. Pick sixes in back-to-back -back weeks for the Giants defense. He might, might, he might not make it there. Oh, my God. He does, though. 48 yards to the house. LC 21. The humble 21. Landon Collins. Touchdown. Jumps the route beautifully. And that is a touchdown. This defense filled with playmakers on the defensive line. Linebackers. The secondary. This is a team that's going to compete heavily this year. At least I hope. We'll see. Landon Collins, big play. Oh, big stop on third and two. The hit by BJ Goodson. And I doubt they go for it here. Although it'd be perfect going for it. Territory. About midfield. Two yards to go. Down by a touchdown. This would be the time. They're gonna they're gonna punt it back to us. I, you know what? I can't really blame them. Our offensive ineptitude to start the game here has been noticeable. Our points have only come from defense. Maybe it's not the worst decision. We have seven rushing yards. Let's change that. I don't, I'm not really sure what's happening. Uh, sheds there. I mean, how do we not... How do we not convert that into positive yardage? It's great work from Saquon to break some tackles, but it's third and five. We cannot get anything going against this defense somehow. I'm, I'm holding circle. Throw the ball, Kyle. And I've held, I've held circle in frustration. And of course, that will bring up the spike. We're going to have to burn another timeout. <laughs> Alex Smith is 7 for 8 for 45 yards. Think about that. Think about that. Captain Checkdown is real here. They run the ball or throw it short and punt. This is this high-powered offense. That's our longest completion of the game. Has to be. 
I need you to make a play. Thank you. Nope. All right. So Lorenzo Carter doesn't jump up for the ball, even though it's basically thrown right to him. He strips it from behind, and then Jordan Reed picks it up like it's nothing. That's so frustrating, which will make it 7-3. to three. Not quite the high-scoring affair we had last week. They just shed so quickly, even when we get a lane there. They just shed so quickly. We need we need guys to hold their blocks. Kyle Laletta is 0 for 3 throwing. That's got to be a completion, though. Evan Ingram, first down. First completion goes for 20 plus. Look at Howard Russell with the hands. They send heat off that right side. Left side for them. Good stuff from why why is the CPU calling Hail Mary here? Do you know do you know the situation? I can't audible out of this. We're gonna throw it up to Russell. That's out of bounds? Really? Clock's ticking. I just I threw it without even looking. Without even looking. Without even looking through into traffic. That's going to be the end of the first half. Without even looking. I just hoped Odell would be open. It was triple coverage. No one else was open. I can't do that. Dude, they keep blitzing, man. And it's a fumble. Please pick it up. We're, we're playing fucking soccer. It, it's unbelievable in this game. It doesn't let you pick up fumbles. They send they send heat on every play and it doesn't get picked up. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting so upset. I'm getting mad. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Hey, this is such an annoying game to play too, because I don't have time on defense, or actually when I'm on offense. And then defensively, it's boring as hell. Also, how is that not an interception? It, it, it's just checkdowns and runs for a loss. There's nothing exciting going on, particularly. It's play after play after play as well. Like, oh, that's, that's what really gets to me. The fact that that gets open. That, uh, yeah. Jamison Crowder, touchdown. It's going to be 10-7. They're going to review it. He got both of his feet down. Why bother? Why bother? We're gonna take a deep shot. Howard Russell! And it's intercepted, oh my god. Unreal. Pressure got in, I think they sent four, and pressure still got in anyway. Decided to go for the deep shot, they did send four. Nickel, two, four, five, double A gap, they send four. They get pressure very quickly. Nothing else was open, decided to take the deep shot. We have great one-on-one -on -one coverage, which is good for us. And the ball is tipped up and intercepted. And now 14 for 16 for 92 yards. Alex Smith takes over. I think this officially will go down as the most boring game in NFL history. It really has just been awful. Alex Smith is not a pleasure to play against. He's so boring. Like, look at this. Look at what we're dealing with. That was a pass complete for what? Negative one yards? I don't remember what the down was. Either way, are we are we serious here? Or we need something here called chunk yardage. But instead, I am going to run the ball because this is a really weak defensive front. Should be able to get some space there. And Saquon Barkley. Pretty explosive there. It's a good read by Zach Brown, I guess. Zach Brown. We have 84 yards. They have nine. I mean, we're not. We're not much worse. This has just been a terrible, terrible game offensively. I can't remember the last time Odell even had a catch, by the way. We have all the time in the world now. What? Who is that two? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Second interception? What do you mean? There was no interception that happened. Are we... Are you kidding me? 
What do you mean interception? He didn't make one. What do you mean interception? That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. He brings his hands back so Monte Nicholson can make a sideline interception. Oh, I need to take a walk. Oh my God, I'm, I fucking press triangle. The CPU is so cheesy. Alex Smith, I wanna punch you in the face with a hammer. It's not really what a punch is, but I want it. Something happened here. Alex Smith, just the risk taker that he is, throwing it like what, four yards again? It is now the fourth quarter. We have uh, done little to nothing the entire game. But we're going to find Sterling Shepard here. And that is a... That might be our biggest gain of the day by by a lot. It might be double our previous largest gain of the day. It's going to be Rhett Ellison for the touchdown. A little bit of an unlikely guy considering we have Odell. We have Sterling Shepard and the rookie Howard Russell. Even the rookie Damar Jacobs and Saquon Barkley. And Vanilla Vic Kyle Lalletta. Either way, it is 14 to 13 Giants if we have taken the lead for the first time since the first quarter. I think that Landon Collins pick six was first quarter action. Huh? Did it bring me back so I couldn't intercept the ball? Am I seeing things? Alex Smith is 18 for 20. We have allowed a total of 127 yards. That is ridiculous. That might be the biggest completion of the day for Alex Smith in terms of yardage. And it was all done after the catch by the sprinkle. The human sprinkle. He has 20 completions for less than 130 yards passing. Welcome to the show. I hate Alex Smith and I hate this game. Just stay on sides. Wow, really, really extend the field there, Alex Smith. Really going deep. Oh, you need to intercept the ball. You need to not go for the deflection off the bat. You have it. And they're going to tap the field goal. This is kind of a long one. This will give the Redskins a lead if it's good. Kick is up. And it's going to be wide right. That is huge. That is absolutely gigantic. We're going to throw it to Odell. Go up there. Come on. We're asking for a lot for him to bring that one down. But uh, I got to say, it's, it's getting difficult to work Odell the football. I don't see him open that much. He's getting doubled like every time. It's going to be a free safety blitz. Can't get doubled here. We got one on one. We're going to throw it to him. Didn't develop. Play action. There's Odell. Over the head of the safety. And touchdown. I'm not sure if that was a safety. Or 47, Quentin Dunbar. That's a cornerback, I believe. Odell Beckham Jr., though. Gets open. Kills the defense they were in. And that was that was huge for us. We're going to take a 21-13 to lead. They're going to need a touchdown and a two-point conversion just to tie. And Odell getting the touchdown, I think he's going to be big for his confidence and the rest of the team as well. So after the three and out, shockingly, and I really can't stress this enough, shockingly, the Redskins are going to punt the football. How can you do that? In this spot, three minutes to go, I know you have your timeouts. This seems like a no-brainer go for it. Let's just kill the clock, make them burn timeouts. Third and 11, I am just going to opt to run the ball here. Hmm. Two minutes to go. I think I just like our options better, just making them burn a timeout. 
and then punting the football back to him. We're just kind of too far back in our own end zone. I don't want to get sacked. I don't want to make this even further. I don't want to risk an interception. We're just going to punt the football back, and our defense has played well all game. I think, I think this is probably the right decision. That's got to be a pick. It's the rookie, Morris DuBose. And he's got some speed as well. 24 down the sideline. Showboating, end zone, touchdown. His first career interception is a pick six. Morris DuBoss. That's going to ice the game here in Washington. And we never got an angle of the, uh, the celebration there. They went short. Surprise, surprise to Chris Thompson, who they motioned out wide. And Morris DuBose, 98 speed. He's not getting caught. Huge play. If he didn't pick it off, Lorenzo Carter probably would have dropped it, if we're being honest. That is massive. And that is the ball game. 28 to 13. Let's see if they can continue to, to uh, try and stretch the field. They've gone deep once. And it, it doesn't do it again. Am I out of position there? How am I not getting a user pick animation when I am holding triangle? Not the entire play, but when the ball is in the air and it's about to hit the hands. I've gotten user picks before. I know what it's like. And they're going to go deep. And that's caught. How is that caught? Who's over there? Who's 27? That's, that's the rookie, Nat DeGear. Where is DuBose? Get him. Get Alex Smith. Thank you. Keeps rolling out. Come out and cover two. It's been working pretty well. Third and goal. That's only our second sack of the game. BJ Goodson and Morris DuBose. The Roman soldier's kind of been quiet today. OV does not have a sack the entire season. That's going to be a throw and an interception. Janoris Jenkins. So we're going to spin back. And that is the ball game. Alex Smith ends up throwing three interceptions here today, including two in the fourth quarter. And they would, they would eventually and essentially wind up, you know, losing them the game. They were really conservative the entire game. And we were bad on offense. We were really, really bad offensively. And there's not much of an excuse there other than just I, we couldn't have the time to wait for the routes to develop. And they were sick in run defense. 131 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions for Laletta. This is his first year starting. So if he throws, you know, 15 to 20 interceptions, I'm not too plus by that. Saquon Barkley was all right. Zero touchdowns this week, opposed to his three last week. A lot of changes. Odell Beckham Jr. had one catch for 25 yards and a touchdown. That is weird. The other touchdown went to Rhett Ellison. Just an overall weird game. Blocking, I think we we're, you know, not showing much. A lot of tight end allowed sacks. Because we allowed way more sacks than one. Defensively, BJ Goodson at 13. Tucks for loss, Lorenzo Carter was all over the field. And then sacks. BJ Goodson, Morris DuBose. That was it. It's weird. Interceptions, two for Monte Nicholson, one for DJ Swearinger. The numbers aren't adding up here. And I know, I, I always say I'm not a math guy. That's three. Yeah, Kyle Laletta threw two? No one else threw... I don't know, man. It was... As I said, this was a weird game. DuBose, Jenkins, Collins. We had two pick sixes here today. That's pretty crazy. And then a uh, forced fumble for Lorenzo Carter. It was recovered by Jordan Reed. But DuBose and Collins, both pick sixes. Huge game for the secondary allowed a lot of catches but i mean what can you do the redskins were so boring the entire game that is going to do it for me go thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one take it easy